<laughs> yeah, but I really appreciate their help because you know it's, it's good to be exposed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and dancing up. on a pole after a few Jello <laughs> shots. Few Jello shots. No, Just saying. It's good to be exposed. One. <laughs> He's tiny. Little uh-huh. bitty folk can't handle their alcohol like I can. That's right. See, I have places for it to go. So thank you, Complete Bear, uh, for sponsoring the, uh, the, I, the, the, the contest. And I think we, I think we won, but we don't have any, any, um, any uh, confirmation on that yet. But on the I'll podcast wait. side, may, uh, yeah. I don't know. We'll wait for the plaque to be for sure. Yeah, maybe we're second place. I, I'm not sure because it is a vague one. So did you win last year? Mm, no. no. We won in like three or four years? Yeah, we won it 2007. 2007 we did. Oh, me and Miss Complete Bear do need to have a come to Jesus meeting. Yeah. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> okay. From the other side. The other side here? Yeah. Yes. It doesn't taste the same though. When it's thicker, you know, it's thicker. Yeah. Okay, you eat thick one? <laughs> okay, I'll get that too. How's this? It's so thin. You can't be a butcher. I can't Sorry. be a butcher. You failed. I know. Give me. I'll show you. Okay. It's very chewy. Cut it too thick, maybe. Oh, that's thick. Did you say it was thick? Uh, we're kind of do <clears throat> other shows, other podcasts, or whatever uh, other tech shows are doing this. They do predictions in their shows. So uh, I thought we could do a prediction show in the first uh, episode of the year. What do you think, guys? Okay. Okay. So we have here. Okay, I, uh, let's start. I'm gonna have some of my <laughs> predictions here. You have you, you falling on the Holy Ghost there? Okay. <laughs> I'm doing the big song. Can we call right. Vestal Goodman and have her lay hands on you? Mm-hmm. Uh, Vestal Goodman come lay hands on me. We got a problem. Oh, that's right. <laughs> she's still with us, isn't she? No, she died. She's gone? I think she's gone. Oh. I think Vestal be dead. Sidebar, because y'all probably don't know who Vestal Goodman is. Mm-hmm. Okay, first. Another state will allow same-sex marriage. What do you guys think? It could happen this year? I think it definitely will happen. Another state. Because we do have uh, one of our stories today is uh, civil unions, but yeah. uh, that's another thing. Okay, so another state. That's my prediction. Okay. But, not Texas, but another state. But not Texas. No. That's, but, but Texas is going to be a last you're going to have a lot of backlash mm-hmm. even more so than you did last year. Yeah. I think everything's going to be amplified. You're going to have more states well, getting civil election unions. election year, so it's yeah. all about... Yeah, so yeah, yeah, election year is going to make everything mm-hmm. 10 times as bad or as good. Okay. Next one, a new competing social network for the iPhone and the Android uh, platforms that will be competing to growl, uh, competing against Growler and Scruff. Oh, just I'm... shoot me now. <laughs> so what is it going to be I, called? What is it going to be called? Torso. Torso. <laughs> I don't know. No torso, because you know that's. Oh wait a minute. That's 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 gr- that's a grinder. Sorry. The grinder. <laughs> yeah, they need to rename it from grinder to torso. Yeah. So I think there's going to be another app out there. I'm just. No. Predict- yeah. Well, who knows? I, I, it's just a prediction. Maybe it will happen, because. Um, You're probably right. I'm just disgusted by the whole thing. But really, you don't like you don't like. Uh, oh, like we don't yet. have enough. Hello. I know, right? <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be competing. Okay, and the last one is uh, for me is there will be a big exodus again from Bear Four One One, which would ha- which happened before about three years ago or four years ago. Uh, I can't remember. I think it was 2008 or 2007 when uh, it was even a um, a uh, Valentine's Day when it happened that um, a few uh, hundreds of people migrated because of policy policies and. That happened to bear for one. So this is just a, a guess or a, a prediction that uh, this year there's going to be people who would be, you know, well, shifting with all these to mobile other bear apps. You don't need four one one anymore. Yeah, maybe. Well, bear for one has a mobile site. Well, well, it's a mobile site. Well, it's, it's not an app. Is it's it? not an app. I mean, that's two different things. It's a different thing. Yeah, two different things. Okay, so that's what I have. What do you Ray? What do you, what do you? Ray? Okay. Swami <laughs> predicts. <laughs> I predict another Republican will be caught in a gay sex scandal. Oh, I, I, I think you're right about that. So that's going to um, happen. I think the the lost Amy Winehouse tapes will be found, and five albums will be made from them. 
Well, I told you they already found some uh, stuff. See, that, it's already come true. It's already, come, already he's come already come true. true. See, very good. See that little Swami yeah. thing worked. Yeah, mm -hmm. they found some um, uh, stuff that she'd recorded, didn't release, and just stuck it away somewhere. And so they're bringing that album back. Tupac. Did good. you hear about her, her duet with uh, Tony Bennett? Mm -mm. Oh. Is it really good? Oh my God! Tony Bennett did an album with duets, and she did one of the songs, unbelievable. And Lady Gaga with Tony Bennett, awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, that was on the yeah. Christmas show. So, okay, mm -hmm. Taylor Lautner will really come out of the closet, and not just a <laughs> Facebook Facebook spoof. He will be a chaser and secretly dating a well-known podcast superstar. Right. All right. He's <laughs> not your type, Maynard. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's not me. Definitely not. No. So. I'm not going to go there. Oh, right. Oh, oh yeah. that's right. And my ultimate prediction is I will be featured, a, a, be a feature member profiled on Facebook for Growler. Right. Okay. We'll, we'll pull some strings out of that. <laughs> don't pull strings. Oh, don't pull strings. Maybe. We'll see if it happens. We're we'll see, see what happens. Okay. So. Okay, so let's move on. How about you? What do you have, uh, I think Tony? there's going to be at least one or two professional athletes come out of the closet this year. Professional athletes. And support the Democratic candidate for the presidency. Mm. <laughs> it's funny, our predictions are what, about what, people coming the, out this year. Tebow? Tebow? Tebow, what's his name? Uh, uh, the Tim, Tim Tebow. Tim, Tim okay, Tebow. Yeah. I, I guarantee he'll come out. Why? Why do you say so? Because he's too religious. Mm. You know, I wish would would um, come out Jeff Saturday. He's, Who's uh, Jeff Saturday? He's uh, I don't know. He's from in uh, the team from uh, Indiana, I think. I can't remember, but it's a big woofy bear. Um, anyway, just uh, wishful thinking. As long as I can find a tight end receiver. These guys don't follow football at all. <laughs> bear football, I guess. No, bear guys in football. Well, we follow. I follow bear guys, but but not football bear guys. What's that, that brown thing that they kind of throw? That... <laughs> yeah, that's it. Nice. Nice butt. Yeah, sure. So what's your number? Can I buy you a beer? <laughs> Do you work out a lot? Do you come here often? Woof, what we a bear. Woof, what a bear. Woof. Woof. Our woof, what a bear this week is Ian. Um, you can find Ian on Big Muscle Bear Profile as Scrap. That's S-K-R-A-P. Not Scruff. Scrap. Scrap, yeah. Okay. His name's Ian. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He's 27 years old. He's five foot seven inches tall. He's young and weighs 195 pounds, and he's Irish. Ooh, Irish. His build is brawny, beefy, scruffy wrestler's build, or so I'm told. I've never wrestled. <laughs> Gym 13 out of 14 days is how I stay sane, and he's hot. As y'all can see, the picture. He is growing. pretty hot. So where's I, his pictures? They'll be scrolling. I'll show you later. Mm-hmm. So he's Irish. Maybe didn't put him up here. So, he, him, uh, so it, it's flashing now. It's yeah. flashing. So anyway, his hobbies are picking heavy <laughs> things up and putting them back down. Movies, music, sports involving rackets, rugby, chopping firewood, and then taking my sweaty shirt off in slow mo. <laughs> oh, sweet baby <laughs> oh, nice. Jesus! Which is for his oh, stuff page. <laughs> Lifting, camping, playing piano and guitar. Huge movie buff and trivia expert. Love watching Jeopardy. More of a beach man than a mountain man. Love astronomy, constellations, telescopes, and and just in general, looking up at the night sky. Prefer sunsets over sunrises. Palm trees make me feel calm. Led Zeppelin is my favorite music to listen to while working out. Palm trees make him calm? No, calm. Oh, calm. Okay. Yeah. Calm. If okay. you smoke so, them, I'm sure they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he's a bona fide son of a preacher man, born and raised around rural Pennsylvania. Ah, he has one brother, oh. and we look nothing alike, and they look nothing alike. Was a straight-A student <laughs> who got into trouble a lot because school was easy for me, and I got bored. He was very <laughs> active in music, theater, and the arts. There yeah. it is. There it is. There you not so go. much into sports. Water sports. Uh, was a bit chunky kid. Went to China for three weeks in January of 2001 as a part of a cultural exchange. And while I was there, I got sick with SARS. SARS. Oh, my God. Spent three weeks in a hospital. Upon my return, I lost 60 pounds and almost died. Oh, my stars. Oh, wow. Both, ex both experiences of the trip and confronting my morality, mortality profoundly affected my perspective. I became much more open, adventurous, independent, and appreciative. Both my folks are liberal, forward-thinking people, so when I came out on my 17th birthday, while they were both surprised, neither one had or has a real beef in my sexuality. Nice. I had known I was gay since I was 12, only my huge beefy bear of an English teacher. <laughs> but it took the China hospital experience to really give me the guts to come out and be honest about who I am. So you have to get SARS to come out? I don't know. 
I guess. You have to get Sarge to lose 60 pounds? Sign me up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Have met and dated some amazing, beautiful men. I am typically attracted to guys a little older than me, bigger than me, with a good head on their shoulders. I'm perfectly happy being single and on my own, though. But I got to admit, nothing beats having a big, hunky man to call up with at night. Wow. I call me. I'm here in Houston. Big Ray at bearpodcast.com. That's right. Yes. Yeah, so. mm -hmm. Now, on to... The Geek the sorry the gay the geek and the bizarre how did he fuck that up are you are, okay. you, are you trying to read the phone number or something he's been smoking hip boys palm trees oh, uh-huh okay so uh this is yours go ahead oh i get to read this yeah. hi okay two okay. more states uh the gay the geek and the bizarre starting with the gay two more states will allow same-sex civil unions several things that couples came together in the first minutes of the new year's day in honolulu to become the first in the state's history to enter into civil unions with Hawaii and Delaware joining the list Sunday, five states now recognize same-sex civil unions, while six other states and Washington, D.C. allow same-sex marriage, according to the National Conference of State Legislators. Illinois, New Jersey, and Rhode Island already recognize civil unions providing state-level spousal rights to same-sex couples, the NCSL says. Marriage licenses are given to same-sex couples in Massachusetts, Connecticut, Iowa, Vermont, New Hampshire, New York, and the District of Columbia, the NCSL says. California does not currently allow same-sex marriages to be performed. Yes, I should but be in the previous episode, that's going to the Supreme Court now. Yes, that's right. It's, it's going so. to go for it. So, I guess yeah. uh, people can uh, have a good time in Hawaii and get civil civil unions yeah, now. So. Yeah, that's great. It's a good time to go to Hawaii but, and yeah. the honeymoon and marriage all in the same. Yeah, all in the one place. Yeah, man, they can meet <laughs> some Hawaii fava. Hey, Daniel Day. Okay, Daniel so uh, now let's go to the geek. Okay, this is what this was something uh, uh, Ray Ray reminded me of. I saw this earlier. So Steve Jobs' action figure is advertised. Will Apple respond? What? Yes. No. Yeah. Okay. Steve Jobs' <laughs> Steve Apple Jobs. picture. Uh, so figure, uh, action figure. A Steve Jobs action figure. So does this have him with an iPhone in his hand? No, he's and his own turtleneck. His turtleneck. He's wearing a turtleneck. Okay. A so turtleneck and he's holding an iPad or what? Well, there are pictures of him with an iPad. I, can't, I guess you can do that. Yeah, I think yeah. I think that's, that's one the of accessory them. Accessories. Accessories. The accessories you have to buy. Just like the American that's doll. That's where they get you. <laughs> the iPhone. Like, the iPad. like the Steve Jobs Mansion, the Colorado House. Is it too soon for making house. jokes? And right the now? Steve Jobs convertible. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay, so Steve Jobs action figure. Just what you've always wanted. Just three months after the death of Apple Inc. Uh, Apple um, Inc. Uh, founder Steve Jobs, a company called in, on, uh, in Icons, has put images of a prototype Steve Jobs action figure on its website, and the internet is going crazy. No one is surprised that the company thinks it can sell a 12-inch high collectible action figure of Jobs for the proposed price yeah, of $99. Wait a minute. 12 inches? I can see hospital trips with this. Because, you know, some of them geeks all about some Apple products and Steve Jobs. That'd be like trying to use it as a dildo. Oh, God. No, I hope not. That's kind of oh. hard to put on. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, it's, it's I've seen what people... I used to work in a hospital. I've seen things that you just... Moving on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Rather, it's the borderline disturbing level of detail that the company has put in the figure that is freaking everyone out. The prototype includes the pores of Jobs' forehead... <laughs> The subtle wrinkles under his eyes, even the veins on his hand. Cold so the, are hot. Uh, what? Okay, the prototype also includes two extra pair of hands. What? In case you lose the first pair, <laughs> which is kind of freaky in a different way. Wait, is that for real? Yeah, it looks. You know, it comes with a second, an extra pair of hands. Yes, it does. I guess you can lose well, the hands. My Barbies never came with extra hands. No, so if you're even the can. You lose your hands. You can get another pair. There you go. It's a uh, assembly line. So the Steve Jobs. Well, I mean, the hand would have to be like uh, this. <laughs> oh God! The Steve Jobs set also comes with two pairs of glasses, one black turtleneck, one pair of blue jeans, one black leather belt, two apples, one with a bite out, and one hard one hard backdrop reading. One more thing. I was thinking they have an iPad. Him holding an iPad or an iPhone, maybe. Which but, of the whole thing with action figures that they do things. I mean, Barbie went shopping and she went camping and she went to this and went to that. And G.I. Yeah. Joe, he did all this G.I. Joe stuff. What is Steve Jobs' action? He sits there with the thing in his hand and the laptop. I mean, how can you act out? What's the, what's the action? <laughs> I don't know. But you get to carry your uh, Steve Jobs' action figure, doll, action figure doll around and be assholes to people. Mm-hmm. 
Interesting. Oh, that. it's a status thing. Got it. I'm reading the book actually. I'm almost done. Well, if you're reading it on on uh, on the Kindle, I'm about seventy six percent right now. I'm a slow reader. 